Online News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Come to get all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 250 points. The S&P 35. Nasdaq's up 81. Russell 19 points. Semis are up a couple. Trainings are up 157. You've got gold back uh, $13.60. She's trading at 1793.50. Silver down 11 pennies at 2377. Natural gas is up uh, 20 cents. And lights we crude up $2.25 pennies. Yesterday, I believe we looked at the indices. That means today we're going to go take a look at the ETFs and the S and P and the sectors with inside the S and P 500. Begin in the upper left-hand panel. Take a look at the QQQ series ETF. We see a TD9 count top and a Rhodes momentum indicator top. This suggests that the Qs could be targeting 368.79. That's its TD9 breakout level. The spies next to it have already accomplished that. So the spies have made its way back to its breakout area. That's 40. 443.44, trading above the top of its daily profile. The message here for the SPY is neutral. Yeah, it's got a valid top. It's, it's, it's bullish to neutral out here, expecting and anticipating that price will make its way up to that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 415.93. The XLK has a TD9 count top, but take a look at how price remains above the top of its profile. Folks, if anything, that is a neutral signal. If you take a look at the XLV, it has a Rhodes momentum indicator top, and it's really just been consolidating sideways, finding support at the bottom of its profile. Now, here's really the key, folks. Price must close below support, key levels of support. And as we take a look at these first four instruments, they have not done that. In the case of the Qs, that key level of support would be the 368.79 level. In the case of the diamonds, uh, bar number seven looks like it may form today out here. The IWM, it's uh, holding the bottom of its daily profile, suggests to run the 223.20. The XLF, Rhodes momentum indicator top, but holding the bottom of its profile. The XLC getting back to its TD9 breakout level of 82.84. You kind of getting the message here? The message from the charts is that nothing has broken to the downside because no key levels of support have failed. This is a trader's market in both directions. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours coming up. David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll see you back here tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky.